Hello, and thank you for joining me today for this video. I am going to share with you my nighttime skincare routine. And this is a routine that I've been using for about six to eight weeks now. Some of these products for a little bit longer, but all together for about that amount of time. And I've had really great results. I've really loved using all of these things. So I was excited to share them with you. Um, Really the first thing I do when I get ready to go to bed is line everything out across my bathroom counter. And as you'll see, it's kind of a long line. Um, it's a bit of a long routine. Sometimes I take shortcuts, but I'm gonna show you the whole thing so you can see like in an ideal night, this is what I do. Um, so the first thing I do is take off my eye makeup if I have any on. And I've been using this oil-free eye makeup remover from Mary Kay. And you just shake it up until it gets bubbly and foamy. And then you use a cotton pad and wipe it on your eyes. And I like this because it is not irritating to my eyes and I do wear contacts and I have them in usually when I do this. Um, and you don't have to rub very hard. It comes off pretty easy and I really like this. So next is cleansing. And I have been using these two cleansers. This is the Tula Purifying Face Cleanser. Um, this one I use when I just want a little more squeaky clean, um, it doesn't dry out your skin, it's creamy and it feels really nice. Um, but if I just need a little extra cleansing, I use this. The other one is this Le Maitier de Beauté Replenishing Oil Cleanser. And this one I use when I feel like I need a little more moisture. Um, it's liquid, it's like an oil texture and you can kind of see on the back, like if this was full, that would be showing. But you shake this one up and you can kind of see a little bit. Um, but then you do about five squirts on a dry dry hands, dry face, and I feel like this is really great for just adding a little bit more moisture when you really need it. So after that, sometimes I will use a toner, sometimes I won't. I use the Le Maitier toner, which I will link below. Um, but either way, I always use this Vintner's Daughter Active Botanical Serum. And I may actually never buy another type of serum like this because this one is the best that I have found. Um, I will show you what it looks like. So it's like this goldish color um, and it really, it is amazing. I use about four drops of it and you put it in your hand and you rub it together to kind of warm it up and they have you press it all around your face. Um, and I saw results using this, I would say in less than a week, my skin was glowing, um, the texture was great. It really, really makes your skin look and feel amazing. So I cannot highly recommend this more. It is really something I will continue to buy. Over and over and over. So um, then I do my eye cream. And I've been using two eye creams. Again, I kind of alternate these just depending on how I feel. Um, this is the Paracone MD Cold Plasma Eye. This one I feel is a little bit thinner in texture. Um, I use this just kind of on a regular day, call it. Um, you know, just normal, normal skin, normal feel, maybe more so when I didn't have a lot of makeup to remove, but this is really, really a good eye cream. I really like it. The other one is this Colleen Rothschild Complete Eye Cream. Um, this I feel is a little bit thicker has a little bit more moisture to it. Um, so kind of like when I use that Le Maitier oil cleanser, I will use this eye cream. Um, and I wake up in the morning and the skin around my eyes still feels really nice and moisturized um, and smooth. And so this one is a really great one. It's been great for winter, but I still plan on using it into the spring. So after all that, I have, I do moisturizer. I've been using this SkinCeuticals Triple Lipid Restore. And um, I've really, really liked this one. It's a really thick moisturizer. You can see I'm kind of getting pretty far into it. Um, and you don't need very much of this. I felt like this was great in the winter, really kept my skin moisturized. Um, I've said that I may switch to something else in the spring, but I actually may not, because this is is really something that I've, I've liked. It's got a great weight to it, it absorbs quickly, um, and I've been pleased with the results. So I don't put moisturizer or anything else on my neck. Um, this is, must be a sign I'm getting into my mid-30s, which is terrifying. But I use a neck cream, and I use this Le Maitier de Beauté 
neck firming cream. Let me show it to you. It's a kind of a bright yellow. Um, and with this, you take it out and then you kind of do the upward motion. You do, I do it from about my collarbone to my chin. Um, and they also say kind of go toward the back like that. Um, Cause what you do to the front and the back, like it'll pull it up basically. Um, whatever it is, I want it because I don't want my neck to sag and age poorly. But this is another um, sort of miracle product like the Vintner's Daughter where I felt like I could see results in a week um, not that my neck is sagging or anything, but I, I felt like it was lifted and firmer and this is a great product. It's an investment product. I will tell you that, but, um, I use this every night and I'm still on my first jar and it's lasted me several months. Um, cause I just don't use that much of it, but I don't, I feel like it, it works well enough where you don't need to. Uh, an ev last every night things here. I do the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost, um, which is like that. I, I just, I liked the case, so I kept it. Um, I have seen amazing results with this, so I will continue to buy this one. Um, I know everyone talks about the new lash. I had an allergic reaction to it, so that's why I used this one, um, but I've been very pleased, and I've gotten a lot of compliments on how long my lashes look, so we're going to keep going with that one, too. I then do a little pampering, I guess you could say, and I use the Aveda Hand and Foot Relief creams. Um, they're both great. The hand relief was awesome for the winter, and I know it goes well into summer. I've been using this for many years. Um, it's very moisturizing. It smells really good, and I really like using it at night because I can tell a difference in the morning. Um, the foot cream is the same way. Uh, I use it at night. It's great for your heels. My heels get kind of gross, and so this has helped a ton, and I really like it. So the last two things that I want to show you are kind of specialty things, and one of them is actually a little shortcut that I take. So on a night that I don't feel like doing, you know, the serum and the eye cream and all of that, I, uh, I'll wash my face, toner, and then I use this Aveda wedding mask. And this is an overnight mask. You put it on, it's moisturizing, and then you just go on in the morning and wash your face as you normally would. Um, this is awesome. It really, it, it's just smoothing, it's moisturizing. I, I really like it. I felt that on the nights that I've used it, my skin is brighter in the morning. Um, I'll use it before photo shoots or a big day or something like that, and it's a good one. The other mask I use is this Tata Harper Moisturizing Mask. This one is a little bit lighter in texture, so I'll use this if I feel like I need moisture, but not quite as much. And you use this the same way, or at least I do, um, where I'll put it on after my serum, but I won't use the moisturizer. So this is what I'll use instead. And this, again, this smells really good. It has a little grapefruit scent to it, and I love her products so um, I like integrating this one every so often once or twice a week so that's it um, I know it seems like a lot but I hope you heard of a product that you hadn't heard of before or found something that you want to try uh, so please let me know if you have any questions in comments and I will link everything below and thank you for tuning in